I'm, I'm gonna a quick thing before I start. So yesterday I posted something that TMZ posted. So James Harden, the basketball player, James Harden was like he missed basketball camp and hung out with this rapper named Little Baby. To be honest, I don't know who the fuck Little Baby is. Little Mama, Little Big. Baby. Why is everybody called Little? I don't want to be anybody little. I want to be a big, big Bow Wow. No more Little Bow Wow. But anyways, so he was hanging out. With, he he missed practice. To hang out with this guy named Little Baby. I don't know. I mean, fuck it. I don't know anything about rap, so don't. So, but all I know is this. It was on TMZ. So, this is going to lead into the, the Furu thing, okay? So, it was on TMZ. And James Harden missed practice. I guess he wants to get traded to the Nets or whatever. It doesn't matter what it is. But that TMZ was posting. And this Little Baby. I don't know who the fuck this guy is, by the way. But I know who the hell James Harden is. So, this, this little rapper guy, Little Baby... He started to bring out money, stacks of cash. He was in some car, had all j- j- chains on, all this shit. And I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? And it's that little baby. I don't know who the fuck. So I had to Google who the fuck little baby was. And then I'm like, what's the net worth of little baby? Four million dollars. I'm like, and I Google what the net worth of James Harden. 150 million plus. James Harden's going to get a max deal making 40 mil a year. Wherever teams he plays on, he's gonna make 40 million a year. This little baby motherfucker makes 4 million his whole entire lifetime. And he's wearing a million dollars of jewelry flashing. It's always the guys that have no money that is a flashing artist. Okay? So I told my guys, my friends, Alex and Todd, like, what the fuck's a little baby guy? James Harden's worth like a million times more. And you don't never see a big baller like J- James Harden brag. Because he knows he's the man. So, it leads me to what I'm saying. So the topic today is how do you spot a furu? What is a furu? F-U-R-U. Yeah, I coined that term many years ago. It's a fake guru. Because back in the day, there was all these guru services. You know? People are always like, oh, I'm the best trader. I'm going to fucking, I'm going to be your guru. But now it's an explosion of these fake guys. And so we coined it as a furu. And so this little baby guy, I mean, I'm sure he's worth $4 million, which is no, not bad. For a normal person, that's a lot of money. But not someone James Harden level, Kanye West level, you know, P. Diddy level, things like that. You'll never see those guys flash like that. They used to. Like when Jay-Z was young. He had no money. He was flashing. Now he's a billionaire. He don't need to flash. He just, well, he looks ugly as hell. Uncut hair. You know, his fucking the Beyonce is hot as hell. He don't need to flash. You know, he lets people do the talking for him. Same thing with these furus, okay? If you see these motherfuckers sitting on a plane. So, this is where we got this. So, yesterday, there was a big article that came out in the Washington Post. Okay? I'm, I don't want to mention names. Maybe I should, but, you know... James Bond, Raging Bull, they, they've been indicted by the SEC or something like that. There's a big lawsuit against them. They, they, they made like $140 million in three years. And, you know, I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> I guess they, they, all that revenue goes straight to Google YouTube ads, right? No wonder they, they were so expensive. Even MIC can't afford to have a fucking little clip on there in an ad because we can't afford that shit. So now we understand why they're on pa- they're on planes. They're filling themselves all this shit, and I'm like, does any of those guys really trade? And so what happens is this, man. Yesterday, that there's pros and cons of what happened. The pro is, okay, the people that are scammy get shut down. That's a good thing. That's a good thing for the public. But the bad thing is this: now the public's gonna think everybody's a scammer. Oh, look at that. I was right, dude. All these trading communities, all these services are scams. No, we're not, dude. Not everybody's a fucking scammer. And that's why I'm going to teach you how to spot a fucking fake. Take a look at how MIC does it. We don't alert. We don't post fucking trades. We want you to learn. You see Alex and I showing off what we have. Alex has a sick-ass car in the garage. Maybe he'll show it in a blog one day, but, you know, you don't see any of that shit from us. Because I don't want anybody to think that trading is easy. I created the hashtag trading is easy as a sarcasm. It was meant to be sarcastic as a joke. So if you go to Twitter, trading is easy. I start all that. I started Furu. I started all that stuff. 
And it's funny, but you know, some people actually like think it's real. Like, trading's not easy, motherfucker. You're a scammer. I'm like, okay, dude. If you don't understand sarcasm, I'm sorry, man. I cannot teach you that stuff, right? And so when 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 Raging Bull got caught, and you know, I I'm not a lawyer. I'm not here to say they're guilty or not. That's not my position. I just want you to realize that just because someone does something bad doesn't mean that everybody's bad. Just like every like rapper, some rappers are fucking, they're felons. They rob people. They fucking use guns. But not everybody's like that. Same thing with Wall Street. Just because uh, Bernie Madoff is a Ponzi schemer doesn't mean everybody is a, a Ponzi schemer, right? Just because you know you you got your heart broken by some girl doesn't mean every girl is a fucking bitch. Man, I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> but you know, not everybody. So maybe you'll find a unicorn out there. MIC is a unicorn. <laughs> you know? But to be honest, you know, you can spot this. Seriously, guys. If you, if they're out to get rich quick, then what the fuck? If trading was so fucking easy, getting rich quick, like, why aren't you fucking producing any profitable traders? You know? So a big sign is this, guys. Take a look at MIC's testimonials. People don't think they're real. Because, you know, we have so many fucking testimonials. Because, you know what? Everybody else is a scam artist. And hardly anybody has a fucking testimonial. Because their shit is fucking dirty, dude. So, the Fru service is this. They flash a big life, show fancy cars, get celebrities, or something to endorse their shit. But you really never see a trade. You never see any fucking trading. So, I got fed up the, the past week, and I posted a Twitter... You know, I'm the guy that been posting charts for God knows how long now. You know, I use to post PL. People go, oh, Bow's broke now. He doesn't post PL. I'm a fucking PL, bro. I'm trying to teach you how to fucking trade for yourself. Seeing my fucking nuts is not gonna fucking make your dick bigger, right? <laughs> I'm gonna say that again. Seeing my nuts is not gonna make your dick bigger. But if I show you the process of making your dick bigger, you should appreciate that. Not just for me to brag how big my balls and my dick is, right? You know, so that's the thing with the P&L, man. These, these guys are posting these giant ass P&Ls, but no one's learning jack shit. And then, you know, they get like a million likes. I'm like, you dumb fuck. Seriously, I would call that you dumb fuck. And, you know, I get seven likes for these charts. I don't give a fuck, to be honest. Because, you know, the people that, 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 that look at the charts and they make money off that. Oh, this is kind of cool. Let me take a look at this. Oh, yeah. How you doing? Nice doggy. Oops, that was an intermission there. But anyways, what the fuck was I talking about? Charts, yeah. And so that's another sign, man. If they if they're not posting how they made the money, it's it's like all of a sudden one of your friends, like you know, they gets out, you know, you haven't seen your friend for a long time, and he's he's kind of like a fuck up, right? And you think he's working at the mall or some shit. And he comes back with like a fucking Lamborghini. Wouldn't you question where the fuck you get the Lamborghini? Or would you? Oh, you motherfucker, Lamborghini's a badass. You're the man. You're the man. That's the same thing with the P and L. Okay, that's why I, I used to post. I was the originator of posting PL, guys. If you know me back in the day, I posted for every day religiously just to show people. And you know why I did that? I did that because I didn't want your ass to learn how I fucking made that money. Because my shit works. And I, I wasn't ready to fucking expose how I did it. Okay? Because you know what, man? I was young back then. I didn't really have a mission except to make money. And I made a shit little money. But by posting the charts, people fucking could read. A reverse engineer this shit. This this is the thing that Mike fucking from Twitter, like, you know, he said on Twitter, he's like, you dumb fuck. You look at someone's fucking chart, you can reverse engineer what they did. Exactly right. And so therefore, that is a sign that someone knows what the fuck they're doing, guys. Anybody just showing you the end result. I'm flying on a plane. I have a Lamborghini. I have all these big p &L. How the fuck did you make it? How does that help you guys? How the fuck does seeing someone's fucking ball sack help you? Unless they're going to show you how their ball sack became so big. So yes, we, we gave the secret, Mike. And look at my... So while I'm looking around people's charts, I'm like, holy shit, they all look like my charts. You know, because... Fuck, man, I'm not saying the best trader, but I make shit... You know, my shit works. And what, what happens is, you take mine, because I, I really didn't learn from anybody. I wanted to, but back in the day, there was no sharing. But you guys are so blessed now to have social media. Social media, I'm fucking walking around here. Alex is walking around here. People walking around here giving fucking solid advice to you. 
Okay, and all you want to see is how big my dick is? I mean, what, are you going to suck my dick? That's the same thing with a P&L. It's like, how the fuck is that going to help you? You know, I can show my mansion. I can show my car. I can show my money. It's like, what the fuck is that going to help you, right? And so people don't appreciate the charts, the beauty of the charts. So I've, I've reduced the amount of posts on the charts because, you know what, man? If you don't value trading, join us. I mean, fuck, dude. But the point is this. They would rather give their money to a guy that flashes. And that's where you get scammed. That's where fooism comes, okay? And so how do you spot a furu? A furu does not trade. He just talks a big game, okay? He just fucking... And you know what? It doesn't matter if he's making a lot of money, guys. It's his program. It's his service. It's his mentorship. Making other people money. Are you going to make money when you get mentored by these guys? Okay? Ask figure out how are you benefiting it's just like all these guys posting their nice lifestyle but then you're not gonna make shit you're the ones that are feeling their lifestyle okay how the fuck am me and Alex and these other legitimate guys posting education gonna, how the fuck is that gonna bring in more people it's only gonna bring more people if you want to learn to trade so how do you spot a foo a foo never posts his own trades where the fuck's your trades bro I don't give a fuck how much you make. Because you know what, man? I see a lot of these guys. I don't want them to name names. They have no risk management. They fucking, they go all in the open. Their strategies are short anything that pops up. Because you know what, man? That's my strategy. I want to pop it and, and it's an all day fader. And then you know what? I'm going to fucking make money. There's, I mean, that's not a fucking valuable way to trade, okay? They may make money, but you won't. They will show their lifestyle. They will brag and brag. And then where are their students? And, and then look at the and look at the personality of the students. Are they bragging? Are they fucking happy that they're fucking down millions of dollars and they make it all back? I mean, that is that someone that you want to be proud of? Or when they make money, they, they tell me you all suck. I'm the best. My dick is the biggest. You know, I'm like, oh yeah. I mean, do you want to be surrounded by that? That is pollution. That that is not someone I even want to be around. I don't give a fuck if how much money you have. I don't give a fuck. There's a saying I always talk about. I'd rather dine. Let me say, I, I'd rather eat crumbs with bums than eat steaks with snakes. I'd rather eat crumbs with bums than to eat steaks with snakes. Okay? To be honest, you have to surround yourself by good people. And so, the, when, when, notice I didn't post about that Raging Bull ad. I saw that very long. I'm like, holy shit, I know exactly what's gonna happen. If I post that shit, the troll's gonna say, see motherfucker, you guys are all fake. And so what we did today was we, we created an IG Live just to show you. Can anybody fake walk around? You know where I fucking live. Why haven't I gotten jumped? That's another sign. You see these guys, you will never see them do a meetup. Alex and I, Tosh, MIC guys, we thrown Jesus. How many meetups already? We walk around, we are not fearful. If anybody got something to hide, they were going to hide. Okay, no one's going to jump me. I didn't do anything wrong. These trolls, I guarantee you, these trolls, they are either the competition or someone that just, it's just jealous as fuck. They're probably masturbating to our videos right now. The M that they think is it's called Masturbation Club, right? And to be honest, I love having the trolls. When I don't get trolled for an extended period of time, I actually talk to Alex and go, what the fuck are we doing wrong? Are we not the hot chick anymore? Does nobody like us? <laughs> and so when the Raging Bull thing came out, I knew that we were going to get trolled. I knew they are going to do stupid shit. And I'm like, oh, we still the hot chick. So it's kind of cool. But you see, it's very simple, guys. It comes down to this. You know who's fucking a scammer. You just don't want to believe it. It's just like hooking up with a girlfriend or boyfriend. You know it's bad for you. You just don't want to hear it. Because it just feels good. And you think... You think you, you can change them or you can change yourself. You know, it's up to you what it is. But you know what? At the end of the day, we cannot help anybody that does not want to help themselves. Okay? So as simple as that, guys. I mean, I, I don't know what else to say. We, we made so many of these furu busting videos. Okay? Trading is very, very simple. We have gone it down to a science. Okay, we're the first person, people, to, to use the word process, guys. Now, everyone's talking about process. The fuck? No one even talked about risk management before we came along. 
Now we're talking about max daily losses, how to do all that, hard stops. No, we haven't talked about hard stops. We are the trendsetter and all that stuff, okay, guys? And so, what happens is this. These furus, they start copying our shit. We, we know they copy, but it doesn't fucking matter. There's different levels of fake furuism. Everybody has what we call a niche, okay? If you are the ultimate scammer that have no, no fucking real trading skills, you're going to show off your luxury goods. You're going to show off a fucking fake lifestyle. You're selling a lifestyle. But that's the that's the worst type of furu. A furu that that's the forex guys. The forex guys are the ones that are selling pure lifestyle because they don't know what the fuck even trading is, dude. I have a lot of those guys fucking following me, trying to fucking scam me. Every time we post on the IG, you, you know the forex motherfucker pops up. I made a thousand dollars this week from whoever. Same thing with the Bitcoin guys. Okay, I'm not gonna do Bitcoin. I'm very happy you made your fucking money on Bitcoin. Congratulations. But, you know, not everybody's going to be fucking buying that shit five years ago. Anybody that's buying Bitcoin now is an idiot. I'm going to say it right now. Mark my words. Anybody that fucking buys Bitcoin, 20000 19000 is a fucking moron. Even if it goes to 50000 What are you doing? Doubling your money? whoopie doo You made a fucking fortune doubling your money? How much money do you have? I guarantee you, most of these Bitcoin motherfuckers have $500 in their wallet. They have fucking $500 in their Bitcoin wallet. You just doubled your fucking money. So what are you going to do with that? You're going to go buy bottle service? You missed the boat, dumbass. I'm going to tell you right now. You missed the fucking boat. If you're buying shit at $19,000, you missed the boat. These guys that got rich on Bitcoin owned this shit for years when it was like a dollar, $10, $100. They're not buying this fucking shit $19,000. If someone's in at $100, there's... For Bitcoin, they're not adding to the fucking position at nineteen thousand. They're waiting to unload it to you, dumb fucks. Seriously, do I hate this Bitcoin shit? Every, every fucking day, fucking are you in Bitcoin? I mean, like, fucking you broke fuck. I don't give a fuck about Bitcoin. How much money did you make? Real money today? And the fucking less than I what I made trading a fucking legitimate stock, learning to trade. Seriously, dude, we make a on a thirty thousand dollar account, thirty five thousand dollar account. You can you can make between two and three thousand dollars consistently. A thousand dollars, easy. Oh, I hate to, you know, I don't want to get. Fucking, I'm not gonna say all anything is easy, but you know what I mean. If you, I swear, guys, if you follow the process, it's pretty fucking easy. Not gonna, if, if you follow the process, it's pretty straightforward. I'm not gonna call that word easy because I hate that word easy. It's only easy because we know what we're doing. You see in the chat room every day, man. We don't, we post our fucking prints. We post our fucking charts. You can tell I'm making money or not. Just gonna look at a fucking chart. You know, you don't need to see my fucking PL. It doesn't fucking matter if I made a dollar, ten dollars, a million dollars, right? And people think that I bragged on this shit. It's like, fuck, I, I'm the guy that no one even knew who the fuck I was until I did one fucking interview on Chat with Traders. And then next you know, I got all these trolls. This is impossible. You didn't make this. And I'm like, dude, I don't give a fuck what you believe or not. You know, take a look at. I don't care if people think I'm successful. You know what I care about? We talked about this in MIC today. I care about the people that I mentor and I teach. I have a long history of people I mentor that, that have gone to make millions of dollars. That are gone to become mentors themselves. I am the mentors. I am your mentor's mentor. But it doesn't matter anything about me, guys. I just. So when we started MIC, we did it not because I needed the money. People, oh, you, you, you can't trade for yourself, so you started my, you dumb fuck. If I wanted money, I could have fucking started this shit 10 years ago. Why did I help everybody else start fucking this chat room except myself? I don't give a fuck about the money. Seriously, dude. I did it because the educational universe is in trouble. I see so many scammers. It's only a matter of time that these scammers get caught, guys. We knew that these guys will get caught, but it's not, I am not a litigator. I am not the SEC. I'm not here to fucking fight anybody. They have a hundred million dollars to go toward lawyers. They can easily fucking run my ass over. I don't give a fuck. You know what? You do you. You become a good person. And eventually karma takes care of itself. And anybody that joins these get rich gamers, I'm not I'm gonna say it, man. I mean you knew what you're getting yourself into. You knew it. You wanted to believe that you could become rich overnight. You wanted to believe that you can drive that Lamborghini just because you fucking paid some guy $5,000 for his program. We don't even charge that much. MIC is basically almost free, guys. $197 a fucking month. These scammers, are what they're doing now is they're getting smart. They stopped doing monthly, guys. 
Who's this? You part of the problem. Are we getting trolls? I love it. Who wants to come on? Anybody troll want to come on? I would decimate your ass. Who's this guy? Nit Sunda. I don't know if you're talking about us or what. But anyways, I don't give a fuck, guys. Um, but you know you're getting scammed. And what the scammers do now, that they're, they're, they're getting smarter. They're getting rid of their... Um, they're getting rid of their monthly subscription. They're forcing everybody to buy their expensive packages. Because they know that if you join for a month, you will see how scammy their shit is. And that you will fucking either blow up or not renew. We took a chance this Black Friday and we gave a three-day free trial. You know what happened? I think 50% stayed, huh, Alex? That's unheard of. They're like, holy shit, I never knew you guys were legit. I never knew how good you are. You know, that's like, who the fuck would give you a free trial? Unless you're legitimate. But you know what, man? There's a price to everything, guys. I'm not gonna fucking give out free shit all the time. I don't give, you know what I'm saying? Because you know what? The people that, half the people were awesome. The other half were a bunch of assholes. They never intended to stay. They wanted to get a free grab of information. They thought that we were get rich quick and they didn't get rich quick within the three days. So they fucking canceled. But during that time, they harassed people. They used the the moderators. They, they asked questions that they hogged up the service. So you can never have free stuff, man. Because what happens is this. No one values free shit, guys. If you, if you got a trainer, let's say like, like to work out. And the trainer is free. You fucking not show up every day. But if you paid fucking $200 a month for this guy, you will stay. And you know what, guys? The trainer costs $200 an hour. MIC is $200 a month. And we're still too expensive? What else is there, Alex? Should I bring you on? I want to bring someone else. Who Who is skeptical? Who wants to get on? And let's talk about this. I love this topic, man. I love, you know, anybody got scammed? Anybody got scammed by Fru? Raise your hand. Um, and I'll bring you on and we'll talk about experience. Okay, so who, who here got scammed by a furu? I'm gonna bring one on this might be fun Seriously guys, I, 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 I keep asking this all the time. What's stopping you from joining? You know what? You know what? I keep asking this because I feel bad because eventually what's gonna happen is this you see our program is so cheap like $1,800 a year whatever it is um and then you look at another program, 4000 a year. You're like, hmm, must be better. Because this guy sees more legit. He's charging 4000 So then they get scammed. And it's like, you know, I don't know how to do it anymore. You know, I don't want to get into that pricing game where you mark up 100000 for your product and then you get 99% off, <laughs> you know, during sales and shit. Okay, so who do you think got scammed? Just raise your hand, guys. I want uh, someone that I don't know, just. Uh, a, a T lifter, you wanna get on? Who thinks they got scammed or whatever? In a trading, not a Forex. Everything in Forex is a scam. Forex is a scam. <laughs> you ain't gonna get rich fucking with a $500 account, guys, seriously. $500 account is used to train yourself to learn. So who who you think? Let me say investors. I don't want to talk about them. Everybody has their opinions or whatever. But uh, um, unless you have a, you want to get on? Okay, who raise your hand, guys? This is gonna be fun. This this is gonna be very fun. Just say, hey, I got scammed by, I you know, I hit you scam. How about it's like I got, cause I don't I don't scam is a big word, unless it really defraud you. How about I got suckered? Who got suckered? Okay, I'm gonna bring this. I'm gonna bring my friend on here. I don't know who this guy is. Go live with Rob Boppy. I haven't pronounced your name, my friend. So we're gonna use this. this. Let's not use the word scam anymore. I got suckered. Because scam is a very legal term. So I, I'm trying to connect with uh, Gora Poppy. Hello. 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 Uh oh, my, uh, are you on? Are you on? It says it's uh, trying hey, to man, connect. Hold on, let me try that again. 
It says it says it's waiting. Let me try that again one more time. Waiting for Gara Puppy. Hello? Hey. hey. What's up, man? Hey, what's Where up, you from? Uh, New Jersey. New Jersey. Is there, are you Italian? Is that an Italian? Italian? Is that an Italian? What? Oh, my name? Yeah, what's your name, my friend? It's uh, Daniel Arias. Wait, let me park real quick. Uh, <laughs> we got someone's driving. Yeah, I, I love this, though, man. You listen to this when you're driving, man. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, dude? What's going on? Yeah, I've gotten um, I've been through a couple like through things. So let's let's uh, start real quick, them, so, so people know. <laughs> so, so um, are you pulled over? I don't I don't want to be uh the cause any accident here. I'm good, dude. I'm good. I'm pulled okay. over. So tell your name, your age, and where you're from. <laughs> All right. So my name is Daniel Arias. I'm 26 and from Morristown, New Jersey. So what tell us your bad? experience with that. How you got suckered? How you got suckered? All right, all right. So um, I started college. I finished college like two, two and a half years ago. So like during college, I actually started looking into uh, day trading. And then I was like, holy shit, you can make a lot of fucking money doing this. And I was like, dude, I got to get on it. So um, yeah, man, you know, I started just looking up like different, different ways I can learn. And then uh, the first guy I went to, his name's Austin Page. I don't know if you've heard of him. <laughs> okay. I think so. So, dude, bro, so, I mean, obviously, as a new kid, like, like uh, this was, like, four or five years ago, when I first started, I was just, like, every single trade he took, like, I would take, but then, you know, I'm under PVP, so it was a whole different, it's a whole different avenue versus, like, what he was doing, and then, like, dude, I just lost a shit ton of money, and then, um, I don't know, do you know, do you know Will Caraman? Oh, yeah, yeah, the eyebrow guy. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, I heard he went crazy, but yeah, man. I um. <laughs> so again, let me let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. What attract <laughs> of, of all the other guys that, that could sucker you? Why did you choose those two to sucker you? So, I I think it has a lot to do with age. Just the fact age. that they were like around my, my same age group. So, so relatable. Like, right, these, it's, it's more relatable. relatable. Exactly. Exactly. And they were cheap, so, uh, right? Yeah, man. They were cheap. <laughs> uh, nah, I mean, Austin's wasn't that crazy. Uh, Will's was a little bit, like, up there. How much did you pay, by the way? How much did you pay, by the way? Uh, for Austin, I think I paid, like, 700 And then for Will's thing, I, I paid, like, two grand. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, man. But not, nah, dude, it's, uh, I started looking into you guys like, a couple of weeks ago. And I've just been like, holy shit, like, dude, you really – like, I like the way you go about it. You're very, like, <coughs> about it, you know? So we'll do this, man. I want to I get another person on, but I, I appreciate you telling your pain story. Text Tosh. I'm going to text Tosh and give you a great offer. Or, you know, maybe he'll help you out, man. Cool, man. Cool about Thank you, man. Thanks for having me on. Thanks, my friend. Thank you. All right. Who's the other Who's the other person? That was a big echo. So how did um. But I want to bring another person on to tell you a war story, man. So what happened was this. He found someone that's relatable. Okay? But it's funny because, like, what the fuck are you learning from someone your age? To be serious. I mean, I'm like, I, 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 if I want to start learning day trading, I'm not going to be learning that shit from a kid. If I want to learn how to play video games, I'll fucking pay for a little kid. I wouldn't pay for an old man to fucking learn video games. But when you're talking about stock trading, the fuck? You're going to learn from a little kid? I mean, that's a big sign right there. How, how, how many years of experience a little kid have? You know? And so, so these are the food signs. So the big guys, so like the Raging Bull, man, 140 million. Holy crap. They're very relatable. They're flying an airplane. They're a bunch of old guys. He's, um, he's fucking Mensa. <laughs> he's a school teacher, you know? The story is there. But then something didn't really add up. Where are all your students? Why are the students talking? That's why we created an MIC Instagram page with testimonials. Dude, there's tons of testimonials. I haven't tagged the people on Instagram. You want to know, go ask them. We don't hide behind fake testimonials by fake people. These are real people that you can actually hit up and ask questions. Okay? So that's the big key. So if you take a look at testimonials, guys, do they tell you who these people are? Because if you read a testimonial, how do you know it's real or fake? But we tag the people that 
that have the testimonial. You can go to that individual and ask him, did you write this testimonial or did Bow fucking like whipped it up on his fucking Instagram page, right? I mean, so these are the signs. You have to be better. And so these, these are the learning things that become making you better day trader when you're putting together the pieces of the puzzle of the clue, okay? But sometimes it's so fucking obvious that you're like, dude, I didn't think about that. Why the hell does MIC have so many testimonials? They must be fake. You know, it's just kind of like, because you know what, man? To be honest, we're the only ones that probably are legit out there. There are very few people that are legit. I would say, I know the people that are my friends are legit. So whoever I, I talk to and say, hey, they're legit, okay? But the, the other people, you know? So, okay, okay, I'm going to bring this person on here. I'm going to go live with uh, Raul Calderon. I like that name. Calderon. Sounds very, like, uh, diplomatic. <clears throat> Whoever, uh, who else has a story of that being suckered? You raise your hand, man. I like, I like these stories. These are battlefield stories. Raul. Hey, what's up? I got your name right? Yeah, you got it right. All right, man. Tell everybody what you, who you are, how old you are, where you from, all that good stuff, my friend. Yeah, my name's Raul, and I'm 21, and I'm from Pest, Washington. I've been with you guys for, I joined uh, no, November 9th, so a little bit less than a month. Or, so how, how do you like it? Tell yeah. us your experience and all that good stuff. I'll let you present now. Go. Yeah, so um, I, funny enough, I, I, First time I heard about you guys was like on on this uh, YouTube ad that you guys put out when Alex went to the SMB Capital um and he was talking about it but I'm like it's like an hour long and it's like all oh, this millionaire tell like shows these people how to you know make money and they're and I'm like ah that's not real and then like starting like two months ago um I I kept watching your, your guys' videos and I'm like this this actually kind of makes sense like. You know, this is a service that, and I've heard a lot of good things about you guys. So, and I'm like, okay, well, then I'm going to join. <clears throat> and yeah, um, so far I've been liking it and I think it's worth it. And I'm awesome, actually, man. So, go ahead, go ahead. What's up? Did, did, you, uh, did you join another service before? Did you got suckered or anything like that? Uh, no, not really. Well, I'm pretty new to the day trading world. Um, basically started at the beginning of this year. So I was just in this free discord room. And then I was thinking of joining this other room. I can't remember the name, but um, I, I haven't, but you guys were pretty much the first ones. And I'm glad you guys were the first. You, ones. you are very lucky, my friend. So a lot of times what happens is this, I have a lot of people that go, you know what, man, they join us. They go, holy crap, this is great. I'm learning a lot of stuff. Then they get thinking like, holy shit. If these guys are good, these other guys are flying in private jets. Must be ten times as good, because Alex and Battle have a private jet. <laughs> Raging Bull yeah, has a exactly. private jet, yeah. <laughs> and then they pay, and they go, "Whoa, Alex and Battle is only charging two hundred dollars a month at MIC. This other program is four thousand dollars. Damn, they must be hella good. I'm gonna fucking put my credit card, max my limit out, and fucking join. <laughs> and you know what? I'm telling you, man. That, that I mean, that's that's pretty much the evolution of everybody. Same thing with me when I buy products like a car. I'm a sucker for that too, man. I'm like, holy shit, this is a great steak knife. Maybe I'm going to fucking buy this $1,000 fucking samurai sword steak knife. This is the same fucking shit, right? So same thing with cars, bro. You know? Uh, but I'm glad that you joined. And um, why don't you give someone like advice? What, what, like a little bit of advice that you, you think will help them when they start before we leave? Um, a really important thing when you're starting out, especially is, I mean, if you're starting out at the beginning, you're probably not going to have like a, a process or something like that. So like the most important thing in my opinion is just to be patient, test things out, go, go in, go in slow. You, you don't want to go in all the deep all the way in, you know, at starting out because you're going in, not knowing anything or not having that, the experience. And then you see guys going in, okay first trade going in with a thousand shares and I'm like, dude, no, like, that's crazy, you know? 
Yo, know, the fact that you just joined like a month ago, my friend, and started to talk all this stuff, like process and stuff, means that you've already learned more than most people. Because you know what? You know what the other rooms do? They tell you to chase their play. They're like, do not, do not copy my picks. This is the, this is my fucking disclaimer. I'm gonna show you my disclaimer. Do not copy my picks. Holy fuck! I'm up a hundred thousand dollars in this. You should have joined me. <laughs> yeah. That's true. <laughs> that's then, true. And then they talk about, dude, I'm gonna set my fucking macro and hotkeys. And so what happens is you start to think, holy shit, man. The reason I'm not making money is because I'm too slow. I need to have the best keyboard. I need I need to be the quickest guy. I gotta get into their inner circle because their inner circle, you know, they 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 get the picks early. So that's what a lot of people do too. They have so the guys on streamers, what what they do is this: they they, they stream it to YouTube or Instagram, wherever the hell it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like a 15 second delay, a 20 second delay. <laughs> and yeah, I was, like, I was on one of the YouTube lives yesterday. I was watching one of the, I was watching the farmer on YouTube yesterday, and then. At the end, after he was done trading, he's like, okay, well, I want to, you guys can ask me questions. I'll, I'll answer your questions for like 10 minutes. And you have all of these people asking the same questions. Oh, why'd you answer here? Why you answer here? And he, he, he answers like one. And I'm like, all of these people are lost. And I'm like, I feel bad for them because they're just people from all over the world. They don't know what they're doing, you know? And, you know, it, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of sad to see all of that. But I mean, you know, people learn and they, they, they move on. And that's why I'm telling you, that's why Alex and I are here every week walking around just educating people as much as we can, you know? Yeah, that's what it is, man. You, 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 you know this. You'll never see them ever walk around in public. They will yeah, get true. beat up. <laughs> they will get, get jumped. <laughs> <laughs> on sight. On sight. That's true. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I wish I was like, girls would jump me, but I, was like, I keep walking around on purpose. <laughs> Don't they know that I'm rich? Come on. Come on. Jump me. <laughs> <laughs> come on ladies come on ladies jump me I'm here you know where I am <laughs> oh, alright Raul thank All you right. for joining man thank you man we'll thank see you. you in the room my friend see ya well there you you go guys I you know man this fruit root busting thing it's gonna take forever you will I just wanted to bring it up because this happened really recently which is just yesterday and so what else, Alex? Are we good? I mean, I, I could go on for literally for days on fruitism, man. So I just can't wait for the pandemic to be over. We're going to throw more meetups and you'll see how legit we are. It's not even about being legit, guys. I want to end it with this. A trading community makes shit fucking fun. I, I'm fucking, I'm miserable trading by myself. Day trading is the most miserable job. It's great when you make money, but when you don't make money and you're fucking sitting by yourself, you know, it sucks. You need people to talk to and all that stuff. And so I would do this, guys. You know, we, we don't have any uh, sales lined up, but osmosis. Remember that word. If you, if you type osmosis, you're going to get a special deal from Tosh. So text osmosis to Tosh. Okay? We're, we're going to put the phone number there again, guys. Um, there we go. 213-458-5997. Type it again. Okay, text Osmosis. We're going to have an un, unadvertised sale. We're going to give you, and then who the hell knows? Oh, tomorrow. I keep forgetting. We're going to give away the $500. Five people tomorrow. Tosh's webinar. Tosh's webinar is at 2 p.m. market time. It's going to be on YouTube Live. Check his Twitter. If you don't find Tosh's Twitter, I, don't, I can't really help you, dude. There's a Google and everything, right? T. Bradley, right? And then join tomorrow. We're going to randomly pick... Five people to give a hundred bucks to. You. 